Highline might be the fastest ball sport in the world. The ball flies at a great speed. Longtime player John Sylvia says that is what got him interested in the sport. The ball averages about 140 miles an hour on the throw. Um, it kind of comes at you like, like a snake in the air. Um, so it's very difficult to catch. The players catch and throw the ball with a cesta, a wicker basket glove tied tightly around one hand. Highlight's rules have changed very little over the years. Players have to keep the ball moving by hitting it against a wall. A player must be replaced if he lets the ball bounce more than once or if it leaves the playing area. The game was once very popular in many parts of the United States. My mom took me in when I was a kid to watch, and ever since then I was hooked to it. The guys were running around and jumping up the wall, and the crowd was screaming when they made good catches, and I was just very excited to see it, and so I always wanted to do that. In the middle of the 20th century, there were high lie courts called frontons across the country. Thousands of people went to see the sport. Many hope to get rich by predicting the winners. But today, high lie is only played in Florida. Longtime fan Rob Craig says most of those hoping to win money have turned to other activities. Nowadays, a lot of times you come and it's a very empty building, very few players. Uh, I think the sport just really hasn't invested a lot in rebuilding itself. Um, there's a lot of new competition in the area. There's, there's gambling, there's casinos, there's slots. Um, you know, it's just one of those things that the sport just needs to take a, a true investment and invest back into itself. Simon Jackson operates a fronton in Orlando, Florida. He says he wants to teach people about highlight. What we're trying to do is explain the sport in its fullest to give uh, people better understanding and uh, help them um, with their wagers, which is part of what the sport is about. And uh, so we're trying to get out more information so people aren't scared. Mr. Jackson says he would like to see the game become popular once again. He says it will if the sport advertises more and educates people about it. I'm Steve Embers.